Okay. If you're watching this on YouTube, you've missed basically 20 minutes of me being pessimistic about the Nintendo Direct. So you really didn't miss anything at all. Uh, what you're here for is for us to play... Uh, what you're here for is for us to play Persona 5 one day at a time, which is what we're about to do. Um, it's a weird stretch of video game between um, the end of Futaba's Palace and the beginning of the next palace. Uh, there's going to be a lot of short days, as you've probably already seen if you've been following along. Um, oh, yeah. Also, there's a video game that releases today called Various Daylight. This is the one thing, if you're watching on YouTube, you get to see this. This is in the video. It's called Various Day Life. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird, because there were like two big events that we haven't even, that I haven't even run into yet. And I'm fairly certain one of these two big events is like, will make it so that I have even shorter in-game days of Persona 5. So like, so like who knows how any of this is gonna go, to be honest, like, Oh, also my, hold on. Also my DS4 is gonna die, so I gotta plug it into something to charge it. So give me a sec. Oh, Ryuji's not talking. I have to talk for Ryuji. No. Oh, I'm so sleepy. That's Ryuji, that's how Ryuji sounds. Are you over jet lag? It's kind of wild that they only give us one day, right? Because we did cross an ocean. Not yet. Still sluggish, huh? Well, same here, dude. Did. <laughs> Never mind that, though. Did you know about this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. Yes, we talked about... It came up so many times during our cool vacation in Hawaii. So I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People who are actually paying attention... People are actually paying attention to who we're going to target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting real psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Okay, man. Good morning. <gasps> Katsumi's here. I add a T, and which does not exist in the name Kasumi, so I apologize. Good morning, Domino and S S Sakamoto, correct? Oh, morning. Back today too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. I like her outfit. I like her. I want to wear her uh, yellow cardigan. I want to talk a bit about. I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. Well, we really didn't do anything. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Yes. Um. Yeah, that sounds great. What did we just make up a bunch of stuff? <laughs> Cause that sounds cool, huh? What about class? There's another urgent. Oh yeah, that's right. Also. Katsu me is what I say at the restaurant. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, also our principal got hit by a truck. That's something I forgot to mention. If you if you are not if you have not caught up, <laughs> is it true he died? He was really taking some heat. What's happening to this school? Are we cursed? Yeah, dude, maybe. Probably. Cursed by adults. This has to be about you know what, right? Oh yeah, Makoto didn't warn us. Hi guys. And we will now begin the emergency warning assembly. Vice Principal doesn't even have a name. That's how important of a character he is. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide wound was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I mean, that's not... Contextually, that's not the best for real, but we'll take it. It does technically fulfill my... It does technically fulfill our our parameters. I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Is that true? Love? Bullshit. Okay. He was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Thanks, large male student. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? <laughs> I'm bro, I'm so bored, but tell me about these murderous Phantom Thieves. I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. 
but he didn't. That would be amazing. Whoa! Either way, it's Hold on. Right. What do you mean that would be amazing? Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. We were in Hawaii. Are people going to blame us for this? I mean, we can't tell you we were in Hawaii because it goes against my whole thing. I but. would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students. And Is that the newspaper lady right behind us? Because I think she's the... <laughs> I think she's the only one that wears suspenders. Oh, fuck. I didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> ah. I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? Oh, God, fuck. It's been so... We did that way back in... We did that way back in September, say it's impossible no for me to remember. It, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. I will say I feel like we already mentioned this. But she would never do something so foolish. Oh, brother. <laughs> That's also true. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? Yeah, we were in Hawaii. We don't kill. It's not our it's not our operandus Mirandi, which I think is it's what not our mean? Namco Banda. <laughs> <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. I'm not lying to you. Say Nijima, I've been beat up and also drugged and then kicked and then beat up and then murdered. <laughs> and then beat up. Why would I lie? I have no reason to believe everything you've said. Okay. Well, then I guess we're in an impasse. Whatever. It seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. Yeah, thanks. It seems kind of like you wouldn't have me play through all of the events of Persona 5 if you didn't believe me, but I will acknowledge that's what fine. I missed. It's more efficient that way. Okay, cool. <laughs> thanks, Say. Our bond's really deep now. I appreciate it. means a lot to me. It's only four, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of... I right. guess I was kind of over overdoing it when I said it. we were close. In any case, let's move on to the topic at Sure. Hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Oh, oh by the way, Bayonetta came out and it fucking rips. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? It's so cool. It's the first Bayonetta game I've ever gotten, I've ever played, but it was Why so did good. did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. All right, say, say, let's start with Bayonetta 3. Ah. Okay. No, that's the whole day. <laughs> Come on! Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. Okay, well that's fine. People are already talking about it online. Yep, yeah. I mean, they announced Nobody's it. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. I feel like we should look. Look, this principal was an objectively bad person, but I, it seems weird that we're not like more fucked up over this, right? People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Well. Could it be that we're responsible? Well, okay, never mind. Maybe I needed to suicide? let them. Maybe I needed to wait and let them assign the correct amount of weight to this. What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. Yeah, and then he would have. And then. Well, but that's silly. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. Okay, I'm back on Ryuji's side, temporarily speaking. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. <laughs> well, okay. It's pretty the tame, actually. <laughs> similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of It the seems country. unlikely that Yusuke would be the other person in this group who is, like, tech-savvy, right? It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. 
it seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. Yeah, it almost feels like it's manufactured, doesn't it? People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. Well, isn't that the ones we're trying to solve? Wait. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? Do I get the input here at some point? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. Oh, guys, okay. let's get back on topic. <laughs> Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? They're all Nijima. There's a Nijima here. You tell them, Inari. Why me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, why him? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. Man, Prosecutor Nijima is a powerful title and name combo, though. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods, more prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Now is Kunikazu how it's pronounced actually, or is that the Persona 5 way? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. Yeah, dude, it's Big Bang. From Big Bang. Hell yeah. Every Big day's Bang Big Bang Burger, yeah. You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. That's, yeah, I mean, that seems pretty unlikely, right? I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing Oh, I see. That. I get that, but still. We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it then. He's totally our next a target. A group in Tarobang? Crazy. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after Right, all. I, I, okay, let's, actually, you know what, now that we're all here, let's talk about this. Hold on, that doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this... Okay, so like, so like, mm -hmm. I, it, initially I thought it was weird that, that Yusuke had reservations about this, but mm -hmm. the context of just having done Futaba's palace and Futaba not being evil is like important here, right? Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... Oh, Yusuke is suspicious. I love this. Yeah. Guys, Yusuke might be the best like the part. I hate to say this, be especially because I think Eric's here, but Yusuke might be the first. best party member. <laughs> you two on? You're just going to go against what people want? Well, that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing this for. Huh? No, but... <laughs> Change D I should make a DTJ com Mel Toxic and it should just be use case face. <laughs> For real? Oh, two in one day. What a what a treat. L looks like we're not gonna agree today then. Excuse me. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. Okay, I think this is the start of the... I think this is the start of the many days where things get weird. <laughs> what? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Okay, now this is a fair criticism. Now, the way that Morgana is craning their neck to look at Ryuji looks uncomfortable. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine. But getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. What do you mean by that? At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde. No, oh, now hold on, Frieza. Take it easy, <laughs> bud. Fine. I can take on some small time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. This is ridiculous. This we had a whole thing. Well, well she was she more was useful more than useful. you, as a matter of fact. Okay, so now it's showing us all the times Ryuji was mean to the cat. Hey, that's inexcusable. 
I'm going to show you who the useless one actually only is. Only the one time, actually, which makes this a lot less. Right, then. Bring it on. Which makes this a lot less intense, a lot less Ryuji, meaningful. Stop. Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Now you would think if my cat leaves, I wouldn't have. To, I'd be able to go out. What's, why would if you would have just sat down and talked to me about this cat? <laughs> My cat. I wonder if real cats feel this way. See you. You know? What if your cat's mad at you because you won't hunt down the CEO of Akumara Foods? No time. And not because you left for four days and they have no way of understanding that you would, would be back four days later, you know? Damn it. Almost threw hands with my cat. I'm human. I have to be. Alright, man, but you don't gotta take out your insecurities on I mean, look, Ryuji was mean to you, but the rest of us weren't. All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again. My cat's now. always being like, this is what I'm saying. Laz, if only you had taken down the CEO of McDonald's, your cats wouldn't be mad at you all the time. You just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe this. Something um something interesting about the next part of the plot of this video game is that they never that they never really explain why it is it's never okay. I mean everybody knows Haru's the next person in the game, even the people who have not been playing the game, but like there is literally no explanation for why Haru is in the metaverse or th or can understand Morgana which I think is supposed to be the implication of that weird uh, that weird streetlight scene is that she heard the cat talk but it but the game never explains to you and explains any of that to you. you you get zero reason why you get zero reason why any of that is true the public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. You look like it. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. I don't think these things are related at all, Akechi. I think you just want to no talk about yourself. criticism to break my spirit so easily. Okay, cool. Big flex, bro. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. What's a we now? My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. Hmm. I remember the data it's a shame you, you feel that way. about Okumura Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. There's another really funny aspect of the what's supposed to be the plot of this part of the game that I'll talk about later but it if only there was a clear connection between him and the phantom is just not um just they, it just doesn't come together like I assume they well, wanted it, it to would be problematic if there wasn't one so you're jumping the gun here you really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. I would do anything to get my mark, Akechi. You, you don't may get have it. the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, sai -san. I don't even care that you have the Nijima family eyes for some reason. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. Trespassing in the police territory. Oh, because you're My a prosecutor. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society? You're no better than the Phantom Thieves, say it. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. It's a shame. 
Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdown. I guess I'll have to work on it on my own. Ugh. I'm really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> we do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. <laughs> Damn. Is this really impossible alone? How horrible! <gasps> what a mysterious person! I, I can't see who's there, Esther. See, this is a weird scene too. Like they never pay yeah. off on this. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Hey, have you seen Morgana? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We'll deal with that as we'll deal with that on Wednesday now, won't we? Uh, hopefully Morgana's okay. I guess we'll never know. Uh, thank you for watching me play Persona. <laughs> Uh, next couple of get days get really weird, but I've got time to prepare this time, so we will have, um, uh, so I will have, I've got something, I've got something in the works for, for if the next couple of days are really short, like I suspect they are, so, um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, thank you for watching me play Persona, though. Uh, if you're watching this on... Twitch, I put all of these VODs up on YouTube the same day on at youtube.com slash TH3 Master Composer. You can scroll down on the Twitch page and click on the YouTube link below if that's easier because it's a lot to type. Uh, if you're already watching this on YouTube, I stream these live every day on Twitch at twitch.tv slash DTJ Composer as well as other games which you've maybe also seen the VODs of on my YouTube channel. For example, my entire playthrough of MC Kids. Uh, is up now and um, I keep forgetting to put the next Zooter VOD up but it will be up eventually I promise so <laughs> thank you for watching me play Persona I'm gonna get out of here we will be back tomorrow and we'll all be really sad about Morgana who's hopefully not killed by dialects goodbye